Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to generate motion by video mocap in iClone. Video mocap revolutionizes character animation by converting everyday video into fully editable 3D motion with no suits or sensors required. It delivers the most accurate and accessible video mocap workflow available today. You can access video mocap from the plugins menu at the top of the interface. In addition to the menu option, you can also open the panel directly from the toolbar for quick access. Inside the panel, you'll find that video mocap comes with two preset examples. Items with a status marked as applicable can be directly applied to any character. Those labeled as unprocessed are available for you to generate new motions from the sample videos. Now, Let's take a model's recorded video and convert the model's movements into a motion file using video mocap. You can import the video by clicking Add Video or simply drag and drop the file directly into the video mocap panel. Once imported, the video will appear in the task list, showing its thumbnail and file name. At this stage, the video is still unprocessed. When the video is added, the editing window will open automatically. You can also reopen it anytime through the Edit option. The Edit panel displays the total duration of the selected video. You can preview the footage directly in the panel by clicking the Play button. This video mainly captures the model performing a series of poses. Trim the beginning part where the model is preparing and standing by, and keep only the section after she finishes adjusting her hair and settles into position. Video mocap supports converting up to 60 seconds of footage into motion data. After defining the time range, move on to the settings at the bottom of the screen. To preserve the model's posture and capture the entire body movement accurately, select Full Body and include Hand Motion Tracking. Once the setup is complete, click Apply Settings. The system will then save your configuration. After finishing the editing process, you are ready to generate the motion. Select the task and click Generate Motion. The system will display a window showing the required DA points for this operation. Each motion, regardless of its length, costs 250 DA points, which is equivalent to 2.5 US dollars. Once you have confirmed the details, click Purchase to start generating. During the generation process, the status column will display the real-time progress of the task, including preparing, uploading for analysis, cloud-based motion generation, and downloading the completed motion. When the status changes to applicable, it means the motion has been successfully generated and can now be applied to a character for further adjustments or editing. Before applying the motion, enable the option Apply Reference Video to Plane, then click Apply Motion. The system will apply the generated motion to your character and simultaneously create a plane in the scene displaying the original video footage. You can move this plane to a suitable position for better viewing, allowing you to compare the synchronization between the character's movement and the reference video. With this feature, you can observe if the character accurately reproduces the model's performance, including body posture, hand gestures, and even the high heel stance demonstrated in the original video. Even if no character is selected, the system will automatically apply the motion to the default dummy character. Simply click Apply Motion, and the system will automatically apply the motion to a default dummy character for instant viewing. You can find the file's save location under Motion Path. Clicking it will open the folder directly in File Explorer. By default, the motion file is saved in the animation category inside the Content Manager. You can also right-click the task in the list and choose Find Motion File. The system will automatically open the Content Manager and show the saved motion inside the Video Mocap folder. From there, you can simply drag the motion file onto any character to apply it. Additionally, by right-clicking and selecting Find Video File, you can locate the edited video saved in the Video Mocap folder under the Media category. Once the motion has been successfully generated and applied to the character, open the timeline. You will see the newly created motion clip in the motion track. 
From here, you can edit and refine the motion directly within iClone's editing environment. Even though the right hand is partially occluded in the video, the system still generates good motion data. In this video, only this section has a minor clipping issue. Let's adjust it using an offset edit. Open the Modify panel and click Edit Motion Layer to enter the Motion Editing panel. The edited keys will appear in the Timeline, under the Motion track, in the Motion Layer track. Click Set Key to keep the correct pose, then move to the point where the clipping begins. Make a small adjustment to the hand position to fix the overlap and create a smoother, more natural movement. For more tutorials on motion editing, please visit Reillusion Courses. After editing, open the Content Manager. Under the Custom section in the Animation category, select your character and click Save to store the edited motion in the Content Manager for future use. In this chapter, you'll learn how to create motions for multiple characters using just one video, even a simple clip from your phone. In this example, we will use a video of a couple dancing to demonstrate the complete process of capturing motions for multiple characters. First, import the dance video into Video Mocap and preview the footage. Then, trim the clip up to the moment when the female dancer turns around. If your video is longer than one minute, select the most important and complete section of movement in the middle of the video for motion generation. Anything outside this range won't be generated. After setting the video range, click Detect Actors. The system will automatically outline each character in the video with a bounding box. Click on a character to select them. The box will turn green, indicating that this actor is selected for motion generation. When Detect Actors is activated, the range bar will also display markers showing the selected data. Click Apply Settings to save your configuration. To make it easier to identify each performer's motion later, right-click the task and rename it so you can clearly recognize which motion belongs to which actor during generation. After completing the setup for the first actor, it's time to create a task for the second one. In the task list, select the video task you just created and click Duplicate Task. This will copy the same video range and settings, saving you time from re-importing and trimming the footage. Next. Click Edit to open the second task. You can keep the same time range and simply assign a different actor. If you find that another part of the video provides a clearer view of the second performer, you can move to that section and click Detect Actors again to specify the target. With these steps completed, you now have two separate tasks for each actor. Each task will generate its own motion file allowing you to apply them individually to different characters later. In the task list, select multiple tasks to generate them at the same time. Video mocap supports multitask processing and can handle up to 10 videos at the same time, with each conversion usually taking about 5 to 8 minutes to complete. The system will automatically calculate the required DA points. This generation costs the equivalent of 5 US dollars. After confirming the amount, click Purchase to begin generation. While the motions are being generated, you can continue working in iClone. You can edit your project, adjust characters, or move the camera without having to wait for the process to finish. When the motion is generated, the task status will change to Applicable. At this point, check the option Apply Reference Video. You can also choose to apply the video as a billboard. A billboard offers greater flexibility. It allows you to view the video clearly from any angle while adjusting the character's movements, making it easier to compare the character's poses with the original performance. You can also right-click and select Apply Motion to apply the motion to the corresponding character. 
Even if apply reference video is checked, the system will automatically reuse the same video plane to prevent duplicate video objects from appearing in the scene. Once both characters have their respective motions applied, you will see a synchronized two-person dance that matches the original footage. The rhythm and movements of both performers align perfectly with precise reproduction of weight shifts, hand gestures, and coordinated timing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.